This is question 19 from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're told that P is inversely proportional to V, and then we're told that when V is equal to 8, P is equal to 5, and we're asked to find a formula for P in terms of V. Now the first thing to note is that we're told at the top that P is inversely proportional to V. Now when two variables, such as P and V, that's what I'm talking about when I mean variables. When two variables are inversely proportional, what we can say is that the relationship between them is that P will be equal to K over V, where K is just a constant, so a number. Okay. What we don't know at the moment is what that number is. But what we can do is we can use the two values that we're given to solve and find out what k would be. So if we know that p is equal to 5, then that means that 5 is equal to k divided by 8, because we're told that when v is equal to 8, p is equal to 5. So this allows us to find that constant, and then we can write that as a formula for p in terms of v. So solving this equation, so getting rid of the divide by 8 by multiplying by 8, that leaves us with 40 is equal to k. This then allows us to write a formula. So p is equal to k over v. We found out that k is 40, so we can say that p is equal to 40 over v. OK, so that's part A done. Then part B asks us to calculate the value of P when V equals 2. Well, now this is a very simple question because we've got a formula to calculate P when we know what V is. So we're just going to use this formula that we found in part A. So P will be equal to 40 divided by 2 divided by V. And that means that P will be equal to 20. And that's our final answer.